What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan T and in this video I'm wearing a hat. I normally have my hair done but it was a bit of a lazy day for me today. I kind of wanted to just hang out around the house and since that's the freedom that we have as entrepreneurs that's exactly what I did. So I figured you know I've been a little busy. I've been a little behind on my videos for you guys so I figured since I'm just hanging out at home I can make a video for you guys about today's trade. So it was a swing trade. I got into the trade yesterday, held it overnight, and woke up and took about a six or seven hundred dollar profit. I don't remember exactly, but we'll see once we jump into the video. So it'll be a quick video. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. Alrighty. So in this video, we're going to be going over a quick little swing trade that I did. It was on on X. You know, X has been kind of causing a ruckus lately. So. I just, I've been trading it lately. You know, they, somebody messaged me one day and said, hey, what's a good stock to invest in? And I said, the one that makes money. No, no, I didn't say the one that makes money. I said the one that's moving. I'm sorry, because it's not the one that makes money. The best stock to invest in is the one that's moving, you know? Well, anyways, so that's just a little side note. Um, so I traded X again. As you guys might know, I've been trading quite frequently lately. Uh, sometimes people ask me, oh, what are you? You just like that stock, don't you? And it's not that I like that stock. It's like, go back to my videos. You guys will see like three, four videos in a row of me trading NVIDIA from like a year ago. And everybody was like, oh my God, well, what do you just love NVIDIA? And I'm like, no, you guys got to understand. There's like a certain time and a place for a certain time and things. A year ago, everybody was getting buck wild about Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining and they need NVIDIA chips. Right now, we got a lot of things going on with Trump and the wall and you know, they need steel. Anyways, that's besides the fact. So I traded X again. It's not that I like these stocks. It's just that that's what's, what's moving, you know? Uh, so X, it was a swing trade. It shows $855 profit on the day here, but that's because I got in the trade yesterday and I was down about $160 on it. And then obviously, you know, Today it went up 855. So overall it was about a $700 profit. So let me just show you guys the orders here. Make it a little quick video. Nothing too crazy here. Um, I had 20 contracts in total. I got into the trade yesterday. 15 contracts I got in at 1157. Then an hour later, basically two minutes before the market closed, I added in an additional five. So just to show the cost of the trade, just so you guys can see like what you would need to be able to do this trade yourself and things like that, 15 contracts for 110 each means the way options works is one is equivalent to 100. So if it shows $1.10, it's actually 110. So you do the math, 110 times 15, that's 1,650. Then I added in an additional five at 103 each. So 103 times five, just to make sure I get the right number, is 515. So you add that 515 to the 1,650, and that gives you 2,165. So the entire trade cost 2,165. No, that doesn't mean that's what I was risking. That's just what you needed to have in your account to place the trade. That's just what it cost. Two thousand Less than $2,200 basically is what the trade cost. And then this morning, I mean, we could say I sold both of them at the same exact time here. Um, what is it? I mean, they were like five, 10 minutes apart. Like, we'll just give you guys the benefit of the doubt. Say I sold it at 142 and we'll say I sold all 20 of them at 142. So that's 2,840 is what I sold it for minus the cost of the trade. 2,165. That's $675 profit there. And then obviously now, like I said, there was a few more dollars on this one. Uh, so that makes it about $700 profit here. Uh, but we can just say 675 for the benefit of the doubt, sake of simplicity. You guys know the deal. So let me just go in and mark up the chart, show you guys where I got in, where I got out, and we'll wrap up the video there. So 1157. Let me throw it on this guy, actually. How about this? Right here. That's where I got in the trade. Then I added in on the dip here. So you remember what I said in one of my previous videos, guys. There's a time and a place to add on every dip. You don't just buy every single dip. I'm going to have to zoom out a little like this. There we go. I mean, it was pretty much right here at the bottom, let's just say, for the sake of it. Ah, it's too close to that border. That's basically where I got in. I got in for 15 right there. Added in five more there. Held it overnight. We gapped up. We flew out of the open. And I sold it at what? 
Seven thirty, we'll just say seven twenty-eight, which is right around this area. So, no, I didn't catch the exact top. Actually, I'd rather put it on here. It just makes it a lot easier. I sold it right here. If I sold it up here, it would have been more money. Could have been about a thousand dollar profit. Who knows? Maybe eight, nine hundred, and about nine hundred and fifty, maybe. Uh, about a thousand. So got in here, added in here, took profits right here at the 24 area pretty much. Yeah, it went higher, but I mean, what am I going to get mad? Profit is profit. It happened, I mean, in one day. Uh, if you look at the expiration date that I have on it, April 18th. I mean, we're not, it's, it's February still, February 20th here today. So, you know, obviously I, I had plenty of time on it. But anyways, that's the, besides the fact I didn't want to make this a long video. You guys can hear me rant about like swing trading, day trading, and all of the other videos that I make. Uh, specifically the ones that are either me 10xing my account or the most recent video that I did where I go over my account value or my account statement again and uh, I had like an 88% win rate and all that. Go watch that. I ramble about that stuff more. So we'll wrap it up here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know the deal. Just hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you visit our website and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll put all the links in the bio or the links in the description. I'm so used to saying bio these days. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.